Welcome to PC Mac. Today we are going to install Pi-hole on Open Media Word with the help of Talker. Before starting the video, let me go ahead and explain you how Pi-hole works. So suppose we have an internet connection and we are connected to an internet connection through our modem or router. That is the internet device in our house. So whenever we are directly connected to the router, we are getting lots of ads on our screen. So to resolve that problem, what we need to do is we need to install Pi hole on our Raspberry Pi. And for this practical, we are using Raspberry Pi 4. Once we install Pi hole on our Raspberry Pi and connect it directly to the router, then all the traffic will bypass through our pie hole server and after that you will resolve all these ads problem you will not get any ads on your screen so this is the setup now let me just go ahead and explain you how you can install it on your open media world so let's do it Now let me directly take you to the docker screen. Here we have the docker screen in front of us on open media vault. And let me just open the document that I have created. So the document is right here. Pi hole on docker using open media vault raspberry pi 4. So let's just go ahead and open this and here you can find out all the things that you required for this practical. You can download all the softwares and everything and here is the docker compose that we need to follow so let's just move down what we need to do is first of all we need to configure our dns server so let's just go ahead and go back to open media vault and from here we need to go into network and then interfaces and here we need to go down and set up our DNS server so let's just type 1.1.1 as it's mentioned here as well either we can use the local host or 1.1.1 so we'll go with 1.1.1 let's just save it and I'm using a static IP address as you can see right here now in the second step what we need to do is we need to create a network for our pie hole how you can do that it's just go back again and then go to docker and go to network and from here we need to click on create once we click on create we need to give a name to it so just name it as pie hole net and the network drive will be Mac VLAN. Now we need to put our information here. So the subnet gateway and the parent. So what is the subnet? Subnet is the IP address of our open media world. You can find out all the details right here. That is type open media world IP address and forward slash number of address available on the router. So we'll copy this. and then paste it right here and remove http forward slash let's put 20 then the gateway gateway is the ip address of a router so in my case is you can find out all the details here i have documented everything and then we need to put the open media word interface name usually it's ethernet 0 eth 0 let's save it so we have created a network for our pie hole that is right here pie hole net and the driver is mac vlan on local address and the subnet is 192.168.1.14 that is the subnet of our open media world that is the address of our open media world now let's just go back here uh, to overview 
and then let's just go ahead and download the pi hole image let's type pi hole and from here we just need to download the official image and start now as the image pull is complete let's just click on close and from here you can see that we have the pi hole entry right here if you want to look for the information you just need to click on info and it will directly take you to the docker hub page where you can see the official image and I have also documented this entire thing the docker compose command here in my website so you can just go through these options now as we have done these two step now the third step is to download the image we have already did that now we need to run the image and put these entries over there I have listed all the entries so you can just go through the entries and you can put them on your open media world and your pie hole will be good to go so let me just go ahead and do that now let's just go ahead and click on run image and then start typing the options like pi hole is the name of the container then the restart policy is always and then for the network mode is mac vlan that we have configured and then the host name you can put anything let's just put pi hole net the same name that we have used for our or you can just type pc mac this will be the name of our pi hole now then the mac vlan network that we have created let's select that and then the ip address on which we are going to access our pi hole so you can use wireless network watcher to check the ip address which is available so my the the maximum ip address that i have is 18 so i can go to 50 let's just type 1.50 so our So our pi hole will be available on network address 50 192.168.1.50. Now let's just go ahead and configure the environmental variables. So the first thing that we need to configure is the IP address. That is, we need to select the server IP. Either we can edit it from here or we can just put a new IP. Server IP, just like that and put 192.168.1.50 so it will bind with the open media world address and we can access our pie hole on this address let's just click on plus now what we need to do is we need to configure our time zone in my case it's Asia Kolkata and let me just put that here time zone and it's Asia the next thing we need to put here is the web password so let's just go ahead and copy it from here web passwords and the password of your choice just paste it here and So the password here password at the rate one let's click on plus now we need to create the volumes so we require two volumes here let me just show you the volumes that we require is one is etc pi hole and the other one is dns mask so let's just go ahead and copy this and put it here and let's just go ahead and open our shared drive and then in the docker folder let's create a folder with the name pi hole and under that we need to create one more folder with the name dns mask that is the other folder that we need to create so let's just go ahead and click here for the host path shared folder and then docker and select pi hole ok click on the plus sign again we just go here and copy this and provide the path again 
for the DNS mask folder docker pyhole and DNS mask ok then click on add so these all things are done now we need to set some extra arguments for these ports so I have documented this on the bottom of the screen you just need to copy this like just like that and paste it over there it's done we just need to click on save now you can see uh, the pyho latest is running right here you just need to click on start and it's starting it will take uh, one minute and then you just need to click here and type the IP address that we have created 1.50 and you need to put admin in front of it and let's just go and click on it and you can see that we are here on the pi hole network now you need to just click on login and put the password that we have created password at the rate 1 and login and we are successfully logged in here on our pi hole server now what we need to do is we need to configure our pi hole on our router so I have documented all the things here you can check out the document and you need to put the primary address to pi hole IP address that is 50 and let me just go through the router pages to show you because of my ISP restrictions I'm not able to change my DNS server so I'm showing you here on the Netgear router emulator how you can go ahead and change it so as you can see here primary DNS server and secondary DNS server you can change them right here in your netgear setup when you open it on your screen one more router that I will show you it's D-Link because lots of people are using D-Link routers as well let's just open it and in manual configuration you can see the primary DNS and secondary DNS so you can just put here 192.168.1.50 and you can put secondary DNS as 1.1.1.1 or you can put the Google DNS that is 8.8.8.8 .8 and by doing this simple step you can route all your traffic through your pie hole and you will see all the ads will start blocking on your network and I have documented this here on my website as well and if you forgot any time you forgot the password of your pie hole you can go ahead and reset it through this command now everything is done in this setup if you have any questions regarding this tutorial you can ask me in the comment section or you can write them down in the website itself so I can answer you you can leave your reply right here and you can also view the other related post as well so guys that's it from mine if, if you like my work please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel share this video with your family and friends thank you for watching bye bye take care have a nice day